For practice it, self-check 3.22 scanner tokens double. We are given the following code fragment and we need to describe what will happen when the user types each of the following values. So we have a print line here that gives a prompt to the user. It's asking how much money do you have? The user then enters how much money that they have and we store it in money. And we need to see if it will be correctly stored in money. And if it is stored in money, what it will be stored as. And if not, we have to write exception. So first we have 34.50. This is a double, so it will be stored in money. However, we're gonna get rid of the zero because a double only gives it to the 10th decimal place. So one right after the decimal. Next, we have six. And this is fine, it's an int, but since it's a double, it's going to cast it as um, a double. So if it, we're going to go from 6 to 6.0. Now, dollar sign automatically makes it a string. It's not going to be an integer or a double, even though it has 25.00, so we're throwing an exception. Million is also a string, it's not a number, so we're going to throw an exception. Same thing here, we can't have a... Um, statement. We can't have 100 times 5. We can only either have 100 or 5. So since we have 100 times 5, we're going to throw an exception. Next, we have the same thing here. We're going to throw an exception. None is a, a string, so we're going to throw an exception. Lastly, we have the integer 645. 645 is an integer, but that's okay. It can still be accepted because it is a number. We're just going to upgrade that to a double. So instead of 645, it'll be 645.0. And this is the output for our code fragment, and we have passed the test.